Hello and welcome to Team Retro, an enterprise ready retrospective and health check tool for agile teams. It's great to have you on board. Let's show you how you can create your first retrospective. To start, let's create a team for your organization's homepage. If you're an enterprise account, you may need to contact your administrator to have them allow you to create teams. Here is where you can see a list of your teams in grid or list form, or perform a search. Now let's create our first team here. I can add a logo or tags to customize my team, and I can either invite team members now or do this later. When you click on a team, it will show you a team's dashboard. You'll see a list of team members and their roles. Their roles can be changed at any time so you can decide who gets to invite other team members or create and run retrospectives. These are the action items from all your previous retros and team health checks, as well as your team settings. Every time you run a meeting, any action items will be automatically added here for your team. Now let's start a retrospective. This will bring up a list of templates which you can use, or as they are, to customise. You can create your own template and save this if you wish, or choose from one of our community templates or any other ones created by your organisation. Choose a template that best fits your purpose, then give it a name or theme, confirm the date of the meeting, and set the context or focus of your retrospective. Anyone you invite will be able to see this when they join the meeting. You can also choose between a fully anonymous meeting, if you want honest, unbiased ideas, through a fully named retrospective, for an easy opening meeting facilitation. Customise your topics in terms of icon, colour, description and order, as well as any meeting preferences, and you are now ready to start. Any of these settings will be saved for your next retro. You can now start your retrospective and invite team members via email, code, or through Slack or MS Teams if this has been integrated. Great. Now that your team is in, let's go through the process of facilitating a retrospective. These are the different stages or steps that you can use to lead your team through. As a facilitator, you will automatically lead people from one stage to another so it is easier to manage what you want people to be able to do at any given time. You can skip, go back, or jump a step at any time. This is your facilitator's toolbar. This will allow you to modify the settings for each step. You can also set a timer in each step to time box your activities to keep the conversation moving. The side panel shows you all the participants and if they are currently active at each stage. You can display the context of the meeting to remind people of the purpose of the meeting to focus the conversation. Use the actions tab to bring up previous action items and check off things that have already been done or refer it through the meeting. You can also use it to add action items at any time during the meeting. Agreements are a list of behaviours that your team have agreed to do when they work together. Finally, you can enable the chat feature as needed. In the brainstorm step, invite everyone to start adding ideas under each topic. You can keep your team in the brainstorm step for asynchronous retros which lets people add ideas at any time up to the time of the meeting. You can avoid groupthink and bias by masking ideas as brainstorm, or you can show ideas immediately as they are entered. You can display who said an idea if it's not anonymous, and use colour coding to show the range of ideas by topic, participants, or manually colour coded. If ideas are visible, you can invite additional comments as well as allowing people to add reactions and GIFs if you would like. You can also ask people to indicate that they have finished, or simply move on to the next step. The group step allows you to theme similar ideas. Use this time for the team to ask clarifying questions or provide context if needed. Team Retro can automatically suggest similar ideas under a topic or across the whole retro. You can accept or reject suggestions. Otherwise, you can simply drag and drop common ideas and give it a new name or theme. Any grouped ideas will be voted on as a whole as it treats it as essentially the same idea. You can now move everyone to the vote step, which allows your team to prioritise items for discussion or where the team thinks there is an opportunity for continuous improvement. You can let them know how you'd like them to vote as part of the discussion.
By default, the votes are not shown until the next step to ensure an independent, unbiased voting. However, you can decide on how you would like people to vote by clicking on the facilitator's toolbar. For example, you might want to have five votes per topic and that votes are revealed in the next step. You can also have unlimited votes for facilitators or reset the votes. You can click on the team tab to see how people are progressing with their voting also. When done, it's now time to discuss the top voted items. In the Discuss step, ideas are sorted by the number of votes and you can choose if you want to discuss all or just the top voted items. You can start presenting, which will display ideas one by one and sync everyone's devices as you scroll through to the ideas. This will give people the chance to add comments as you go. As you discuss, your team will start to come up with actions that could be taken to improve things. You can also add or propose action items to ideas. You can manage who and how actions are added here. Proposing action, for example, is a great way to get people to indicate their buy-in and support of a suggested action before it is formally added to their action list. You can assign an owner and due date now if you'd like. Any actions captured in your meeting will appear in your team's perpetual action plan. Sometimes, rather than a specific action, it could be an agreed set of behaviours and practices suggested by the team. In this case, they are team agreements that determine the way the team works together. These team agreements are not just action items that can be completed, but a reminder of the way the team agrees to work together and will be available in future meetings. You can also right click on a comment to quickly add it to an action or team agreement. Once the discussion is over, you can now review your action plan. You can show just the list or display the actions by idea. You'll see all the new action items from the current meeting here and any previous existing team actions below. You can also add more action items if needed. Action items can be published straight away in total or one by one if need be. Finally, you can share the retrospective with the whole team. This provides you with an overview of the retrospective from ideas and actions added, as well as the participation rate and attendance. It provides a summary of the action plan as well as the retrospective. You can download or share the completed retrospective, including comments, actions, and a summary with the team. You can also publish this to your integrated workflow tool, such as Confluence of MS Teams. Once you exit your meeting, you will see a history of previous retrospectives. Back on your home page, you can see all the action items from your meetings. You can filter, download, share, or publish this list as needed. These action items will also be available at your next meeting so that everyone can refer to this as needed. Back on your organization's home page, if you are on an enterprise plan, You'll have access to our reporting and analytics feature which helps you understand how your teams are going with their retrospectives. How frequent, how much engagement, how actionable. Our analytics provide you with a view of how retrospective practices are being adopted throughout your organisation. On your organisation homepage, click on report to view your team dashboard. Team activity overview, which shows historical retros of all your teams and the date of the last meeting. Team Health Radar, which allows you to view health scores across all your teams to understand pain points and how team health is tracking over time. Team Action Statistics, this will show a list of open and completed action items and whether timely action was taken. If you'd like, you can also export various cross team reports in Excel or CSV format. Retrospective meeting data is aggregated and reported for enterprise reporting purposes. Don't forget to check out all our retrospectives as well as our health checks which help you keep a finger on the pulse. For more, check out our help guide or get in touch. We hope you enjoy using Team Retro to help create more engaging, effective and empowering retrospectives.